So in this video, we are going to fix a dim display, which is a known issue on this Bosch microwave. And it is, again, a fully working microwave, except for the LED clock and the rest of the control board, you just simply can't see. And this is due to capacitor issues on the control board, which we will fix today. Okay, in this first step, we unplugged and shut the circuit breaker off to the microwave. So there's no power on anything, always double check. Nothing there. And the first thing we did is took out one screws, two screw, and then begin to pull this out slightly. And this is gonna be the control fascia that essentially we need to get off with a series of screws that we're gonna do now. And then I'll highlight which ones that we take off. All right, on this next step, we've removed these six screws, three and three down, and then this panel comes off take that out of the way and we'll go on to the next step which is getting more closely to accessing the actual control board and the capacitors all right this is a recap we've taken a screw out here on this side and then also on this other side there's a screw right down here in the middle and there's another one right here and then on that other side as well and then what you'll notice as best practice is I mark these plugs, so one to one, two to two, three to three, four to four, five to five, etc. And that should be all the screws that you need. If this isn't wobbling or loose yet, you'll notice that you're probably missing a screw, so look around. And then take very, very, very detailed photos and or video of how everything is plugged in. You'll have a plug in here, I have a plug in here. These plugins that we just went through there, another one right here, and then a larger uh, plug-in right here. So next step will be detaching all of these plugs and cables and then removing this 8-inch tall faceplate and control board. In order to get these plugs off, you can see how they come off. They come straight off. You just gotta be gentle and wiggle them one at a time. Don't be aggressive, take your time. They pull straight up and out. All right, the control board is out and now we will need to get to the actual control, electronic control board, excuse me. And we're gonna take out this screw, this screw with the grounding, and then it looks like here and here and we'll be able to access this in the backside for soldering to replace. Looks like this capacitor, a lot of brownness and heat dissipation into the control board signifies that that capacitor is obviously uh, gone bad. And that's what we'll, one of the things we'll be changing. So the front fascia right here has been taken off and now we are going to remove this screw, this screw, this screw, and this screw, and then get to the back of the board so that we can reverse solder and remove these capacitors. I'm still deciding if we're going to remove these ribbons or not. They're delicate and if we can get away with it by just flipping this over to the back side and leaving that alone, I'd rather not detach that and risk damaging the ribbon and the port. One more important note before you begin soldering on the 470 and the 220 is the stripe here, in this case the gray, and over here that pin is the negative side. You need to make absolutely sure that when you put your new capacitor in that the negative pin goes into the previous negative pin and the positive goes into the positive pin hole. In case you've never noticed that, they are not interchangeable. All right, now we have looked at the two capacitors and again, there's some burn and then a bulge here. This is the 470 capacitor that you're looking to replace. And then right next door, this is the 220. And you're gonna be moving that up to the 25 volt. The parts will be in the description for both of these. So again, 470 and then the 220. So go about replacing those and we will be reinstalling everything to test. Okay, so we have put everything back together but we have changed the 470 and then the 220 uh, capacitors that are there. You'll notice that it gets a little snug when you go up there. So just be aware of that. Again, make sure your ground is back in. And then now we will put this back in and do a full test. 
one more note just to double check your capacitors that the stripe is facing the correct way this is the negative that's the way that it was originally done on the capacitor and then same thing over there so that is accurate if it's not you would do want to have that be correct all right everything is hooked back up we did not screw the screws in yet but just for testing purposes control board is back on and you will see that is obviously noticeably brighter and like new uh, one thing you do want to do is you want to go into settings and select settings one through two, six you actually want to go to two and that says brightness and it is on three high if you do want to change it you can always go and toggle by hitting the amount button i think it is yep and then two and then one is low we want three and then to select that it's start and enter and we are back there. If you did everything right, you'll have a new bright board. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this is helpful and all the parts that we ordered will be in the description. Thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up if this is helpful.